Hey, what's up guys, I'm Danny, and thank you for checking out my channel, Blu-ray Dan. Today, I'm gonna show you guys my Criterion Collection Barnes & Noble haul. As you guys know, I'm sure, whoever's watching this video, Barnes & Noble, a couple times a year has a 50% off Criterion Collection sale, and I picked up a hell of a lot. I'm not gonna review any of the movies today, I'm just gonna show you guys what I got. And yeah, it's a lot, so enjoy, guys. All right, guys, so I went to Barnes & Noble two separate times, and I also ordered online two separate times. In addition, I also got some other movies that I bought off of some people from Blu-ray.com and eBay. I'll show you guys that at the end. All right, guys, without further ado, this is my first haul from Barnes & Noble. The Freshman. Been wanted to get this movie. Il Sorpasso, and I've heard tons of good stuff about this one. Repulsion. Tons of people talk about this movie. I'm always seeing it online, and I really want to check it out. Hearts and Minds. I know this movie's about Vietnam. Um, I've always loved war films and stuff about war and documentaries and whatnot about them, and I just, I love this and I can't wait to check this one out. Close Up. The Magician. Now I gotta say, the main thing that attracted me towards this is the cover. I absolutely love that cover. I think that's fantastic. Judex. This one looks pretty damn good. Yes, son. Wings of Desire and Eating Raul. This one looks like it's going to be pretty funny. I can't wait to check it out. All right, guys, that was my first haul. Here is my second haul from Barnes & Noble. Uh, Down by Law, Red River, which I absolutely... Of course, my favorite one. I had to hit the floor. Red River, which I absolutely can't wait to check out. Most of them I haven't checked out, I'm not going to lie. John Wayne, I mean, come on, an old Western film. And look at the packaging, and it came with a book and everything. Can't wait to read up on it. Can't wait to check the movie out. Breaking the Waves, All That Heaven Allows, Merry Christmas Mr. Lawrence with David Bowie, The Phantom Carriage, The Seventh Seal, which is a classic, Pale Flower, which I've heard absolutely nothing but good reviews about. Oh, that's a bug. And this is probably my favorite one that I got from uh, the Barnes & Noble sale, which is uh, The Beatles, A Hard Day's Night. Love The Beatles. Um, I was Ringo Starr in a third grade school play. I have loved them since then, and I've only been getting into them even more and more as time's going on. Funny story about this one, I go to the store with a, a handful of movies in mind to pick up, but this was the one that I wanted the most. And of course I go there and I can't find it, I can't find it, and I go to the guy in the back and I said, you know, do you guys have any more of these at all? And he goes, yeah, we have to have. And he checked the system for me, and he goes, well, the system is saying that there's six left, five of them are on hold, one of them is still here. And I said, man, I know for a fact that somebody has it right next to me in their hand and I better not see the guy because I'm just going to bum rush and I'm going to knock him out because I want the movie so much. Well, about five minutes later, the guy came up to me, the clerk who I, who I asked, and he says, I uh, just wanted you to know, two seconds ago, I just sold the last one. The guy had it in his hand. The guy's lucky I didn't see him. That's all I'm saying, eh? A little bit of the narrow for you. <laughs> Alright All right, guys, I'm gonna show you the fourth hole last and then I'll go back to the third one because the third one's a pretty damn big one. Alright, we're gonna start off with Revanche or Revanche, how I always say it. Insomnia, which is a brand new release. Akira Kurosawa's Rashomon. Can't wait to see it. I've heard this director is fantastic. Scanners, also another new release that uh man, people talk about this movie like crazy. I can't wait to actually open it up and pop it in the machine. Sancho the Bailiff. The Battle of Al Jair's. Pina. Also, Akira Kurosawa's The Hidden Fortress. This one, um, I'm not sure if you've heard or not, but this one supposedly is what inspired Star Wars. So I really can't wait to check this one out. Again, Akira Kurosawa's Throne of Blood. Secret Sunshine. Now this movie actually really, uh, the trailer for this movie made me really want to check it out. So I can't wait to see that one. And also Yi Yi, or yeah, that's so off. I don't know how else to pronounce that. This one also looked pretty damn good. So I can't wait to look at this one as well. The Uninvited, and the last movie from this Barnes & Noble haul is Tokyo Drifter, which I can't wait to watch also. Love the cover, I think it's awesome. All right guys, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you this one. This was my third haul, which took a long time to get here because I got lost in the mail and whatnot. Um, yeah, this one is pretty damn big, and it's why I saved it for last. The Katsi Trilogy, this one looks pretty damn good. I've always wanted to check it out. <laughs> Actually, it's getting hard to hold. There's, these things are so heavy. Trilogy of Life. The Three Colors, Martin Scorsese's The World Cinema Project, John Cassavetes' Five Films, and last but not least, the Zatsuichi set. Now this one cost me a pretty damn penny. As you can see, it's still sealed. I'm not exactly sure what to do with uh, the front and back stickers. I don't want to take them off because it makes it 
looked nicer. I don't know. All right, guys, so that was my Criterion Collection Barnes & Noble haul. As I said before, I actually have a few more that I picked up from a couple members on Blu-ray.com and, um, and eBay. So I'll just show you that real quick. Uh, David Lean directs Noel Coward. Designed for Living. Double Life of Veronique. Life is Sweet. And as I showed in the last video that I put up, I also got Pierrot LeFou and The Third Man. The last two out of print Criterion titles that I needed. Yeah, those cost me even more than the Zatsuichi set, <laughs> of course. Uh, I'm not going to tell you how much because it is very sad. All right, guys, so that's my haul, uh, my massive haul. I hope I didn't bore you guys too much. I know that I always like seeing what people pick up from Criterion sales and uh, the Barnes & Noble 50% off Criterion sale uh, especially. All right, guys, so in the comments below, tell me what you guys picked up from the Barnes & Noble sale, if you guys actually win. Uh, well, what's your favorite Criterion movie in general? I'd really like to know this, guys. So yeah, guys, please leave a comment below. I'm going to be reading and responding to every single one of them. Please hit that like button and give me a thumbs up. As always, guys, please subscribe. I'm going to be putting new videos out every single week, so you have that to look forward to. Thank you guys for everything. I really appreciate it. I'm Danny, and this is the Blu-ray Dan Channel.